So it's coming up for 25 to 12. I'm here with Tim and Russell. We've got the left hand side of the street. And over there we've got Dave and Julia. How long have we been walking around there? About an hour? About an hour. About an hour, isn't it? Yeah. So is this not a, a quiet night compared to how it is normally or quite busy? It's much the same, really. It's, yeah. it's bordering on getting busy. Mm. So yeah, not too bad for contact so far. Now we've just kind of, we've been all through sort of most of the centre of town, haven't we? We're walking down New Walk now and we're coming up to uh, yeah. sort of Spankies and going to head off into sort of the market and stuff. When, where do you find is the, the busiest part of town this time, if you like, the first part of the, of the evening? Beaver Street, yeah, Beaver Street mm. and uh, Lloyd's in the marketplace. It's yeah. busy at this time of night. Okay, so we, if we, when we go back and have a sort of cup of coffee about half past twelve, um, when we come out again, where, where would you say is the, the busiest then? Church gate and stuff? Yeah, church gate gets busy. Up this end here, they all move down from this end down to the big clubs down at church gate, and there's one down at Humberston gate as well, live. Um, but most of the church gate, the clubs, the clubs are open there very late. Yeah. Can I ask you a quick question each before we head off? Um, Russell, from your point of view, what do you personally get out of it? I mean, you know, like I said, it's nearly it's 20 to 25 to 12 on a, on a Friday night, and it, it, it's quite chilly now, isn't it? And you've been yeah. doing this for how long? Uh, a couple of years I've been doing yeah. this now. Um, personally, oh, it's a tough one. It's um, it's nice to see people enjoying themselves, and sometimes they can get themselves into a bit of bother with booze and what have you, and it just smooths that over with the street passes being around sometimes anyway. Yeah. So they can carry on enjoying the night, and everybody else can do around them as well. It's just purely to see people enjoy themselves and then we enjoy ourselves. Yeah. And Tim, because you're quite you're quite new at this, is that right? Yes, that's right. I've done voluntary work helping people through mental health uh, situations. I've done uh, voluntary work doing prison visiting for five years. Yeah, we and discovered now, that you'd you'd actually been a prison visitor at, at Stockton where uh, I spent some time as well, as most of the people watching this will know. Yeah, um, <laughs> correct. Yeah. Now, one of, the thing, one of the things that I find interesting is we're picking up bottles. Let's have a quick look at this bottle yeah. in your hand here. Um, and we've got a bit of a competition going. I think we've had about 13 or 14 on our side of the street. So what are you up to now? 20 something. 20 something? Oh, right, OK. Yeah. It's a big competition, that is, at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, from your point of view, um, Tim, you said you're trying to go out sort of, you know, one night a week now just to get uh, get more and more experience. I was talking to Julia earlier and it really seemed to be that um, someone, you know, there has to be a senior on the evening. And a lot of that comes from sort of time served, if you like, by sort of walking the street. You can't really learn how to be a street pastor from a book or sitting in an armchair. It no, really is one of those things, isn't it? It's you sort of, you know, it. it's time it's on the practical street. Practical experience, yes. From your point of view, what's, what's the most rewarding thing? You know, you said you've done volunteering and been a prison visitor. Yeah. What would be the most? Um, what's, the, what's the thing you get the most of out of doing this? Um, I've got a heart for looking after the lost and wounded sheep. Yeah. You know the, um, the people on um, like homeless people mm. and uh, those that are out getting drunk. Yeah. Uh, trying to a lot of them are trying to. Um, They've got problems, and they're trying so to dra num use numb the, the drink to, to numb the problems. Yeah, drown. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So, well, what we do is we we'll head off, and uh, I'll follow you as we go across the street here, and then uh, I'm looking forward to that cup of coffee. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. It should be quite good, I think. Like, I mean, no break. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Yeah. That's one of the one of the one of the pleasures. <laughs> yeah. Right, upwards and onwards. Okay. Okay. We'll go this way. We'll go down that side. So there's Julia and Dave over this side of the street. See if we can run over here. Have a quick chat with them. These guys are amazing. We've had some really nice comments. How many times have you been asked to be married tonight, Julia? I can't remember. At least one guy wanted to take you into Yates's, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, I think it's about three now. You've had a couple of cuddles and a few kisses as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, I've just asked Russell and Tim what they get out of it, so now I know what you get out of it. I'll just speak to Dave. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's good. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I must admit, I'm, I'm quite inspired by you guys because you give up your free time to come out and talk to people, and you clearly enjoy it. Um, and I think we're kind of, you know, we're not necessarily now, but maybe after the coffee break and when we go out later, we'll talk a little bit more about the part that your faith plays in in it, your sort of your, your, your Christianity. And we love said so we prayed before we came out, 
which was quite a, quite a novel experience for me um, to do that. So uh, let's crack on. Where are we going now? Are we going down Market Street? Yeah, Market yeah. Street. Brilliant. Okay, let's go.